It's uh, my honor and pleasure to introduce our State Superintendent of Public Instruction, Ms. Diane Douglas. What we're here to talk about tonight is our Arizona Kids Can't Afford to Wait program. The overall purpose of the tour is to hear from the people that I serve. Um, I don't know how elected officials get in office and then just kind of go into a vacuum. To me, it's important that the education system belongs to our citizens and they have to have input into it. Well, specifically, I had read her, her document, Arizona Kids Can't Wait. It does reference uh, our work. That's what drew me here. I wanted to hear what other community members, what educators had uh, to say about that issue. How are you going to support me as somebody who doesn't have that cultural experience and work with somebody who has maybe a possible cultural gap? Because I have a large number of refugees. Now that we're here full time, we feel some sense of responsibility. They're all going to be voting on tax measures and that kind of thing, and I want to be informed. We made this very radical change to our education system, and we had no public dialogue about it. So when I took office, I felt that it was my duty as your elected representative to come to you. I feel so very strongly that the education system in Arizona belongs to the citizens of Arizona. But let's have a discussion and a, a debate and let's get the best ideas out there for Arizona kids. Early childhood is critical to develop the, the future learners. I want to hear what are the concrete, concrete steps that you have? What are the plans that you have to address reading fluency? How will you be able to make that happen? Because I completely agree with the, the rhetoric, but I'm not seeing it happening and um, I'm not seeing legislation change and that's really what we're hoping for you to be able to find a ways to convince the right people so that, that funding really happens. I think a lot of different voices were heard and a lot of different issues were, were thrown at, at Superintendent Douglas and it was good in that way. As you heard tonight, you know, there's passions on each side of all issues, but I think it's great that we talk about them and discuss them. It's a blessing and a privilege to serve the citizens of Arizona and I look forward to seeing them again next year.